Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful winter break, spending time and playing with your family and friends. Now it's time to get back to work. Today we have a throwing activity for you to do. You can either do this by yourself or with a partner. For this activity, you're going to need a ball and a timer. We recommend using a softy ball, a tennis ball, or a football, or whatever you have available. We are doing this activity for time. Once you find a rhythm, we want you to see how many completed passes you can do. For TK, kinder, and first grade, set a timer for 10 minutes. For second, third, and fourth grade, set a timer for 15 minutes. And fifth and sixth graders would set a timer for 20 minutes. Now it's time to review the steps for throwing. Okay, next we're gonna go over or review the five steps to overhand throw. Cape. Make sure that you are standing in a sideways position in relation to your partner and your elbow is pointing away from your body at your partner. Remember in Cobra, your hand is up behind your head, hand facing away from you. Step toward your target or partner with your opposite foot. Turn your upper body and bring your arm up over your shoulder and throw the ball. After you release the ball, continue that forward and downward motion like you're painting a fence. If you don't have someone available to play catch with, you can draw a target on a wall. Take a few steps back and see how many times you can hit that target. Now that you know the correct steps for throwing, get a close friend or family member and head outside or go to the park. Spread out and practice your cape, cobra, step, turn and throw, and follow through. Have fun and we'll see you next week.